Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batul and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. So, before starting data representation, I think we guys must know about number systems and the type of number systems, right? So, in this video, I'm going to tell you about number systems, its definition and what are the different types of number systems that are being used in the computer system, right? So, let's move into the video. Here we go. So this is the definition of number systems. A number system is basically what? It's a writing system that is used to represent numbers. Yes. Uh, let me give you an example. For example, my name is Farva. So we have different languages to represent the name. Let's suppose in English, I'm writing it as F A R W A, right? Similarly, in Urdu language, I'm going to write it as F, F, R, V, A, W, A, L, I, F, right? And similarly, in some other language, I will be writing in its particular rules or its alphabets, right? So, the purpose here is to tell you that in each language, I have some definite rules and some definite alphabets uh, to follow, right? Similarly, in number systems, there is some particular rule in this and particular alphabet or particular digits that are needed to be followed uh, in order to represent the number in that particular number system, right? So let me tell you the type of number systems and we are going to see this example over there, right? How we are going to represent numbers in each number system, right? So moving into the type of number systems. Okay, so here are the different types of number systems that are being used in computer system, right? Starting from binary number system, well, binary number system is also known as base 2 number system. Why is it so? Because here I am having only two digits to represent the numbers. The number can be anything. It can be 5, it can be 7, it can be 2, it can be any number. But that number is represented in either 0 or 1, right? Let's suppose 2 is represented as 1, 0. So how it is so? It is basically the binary number system where you are going to represent any number into zeros and 1, right? So I hope it is clear. Now moving towards octal number system. Octal number system is also known as base 2 number system. Why? Because here I am going to have 8 digits to represent any number. And this is from 0 to 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are basically 8 digits. I am going to use an octal number system in order to represent any of the number. Now uh, the third one is Danary or decimal number system. This is also known as base 10. Why? Because similarly as the octal, as the binary, similarly here I am going to have 10 digits. And these are from 0 to 9 in order to represent any number, right? So um, the last one is the hexadecimal number system. And here I am going to have 16 numbers or 16 digits right uh, and this is quite different from others why because I am going to have some alphabets as well over here so from 0 to 9 I am having the numeric values and from A till A B C D E F these are my six alphabets right so these are it's a collection of 16 alphanumeric values right these are basically 16 alpha numeric values values that are being used in order to represent any number right it is from 0 to 9 and a to f okay so i hope these number systems are clear to you people and uh, in the next videos it will be more clear when i am going to discuss each of the number system in detail right so thank you so much for watching it uh, and now in the next video i'm going to start the binary numbers right so keep watching it uh, and share this these videos this course with the other students as well so that we can uh, study it together 
and sort out the problems of each other. Thank you so much. Take care.